Hi, I'm Danny from NightlifeBartenders.com and in this video I'll be familiarizing you with the glassware found at bars. First I will be going over the glassware, then I'll explain two key points about glassware that you should know, so make sure you stick around for that. Alright, without further delay, let's begin. Highball glass. This is the glass that you will use for the majority of your mixed drinks and cocktails. Over 90% of them go in this glass. Drinks such as the Rum and Coke, Gin and Tonic, Blue Lagoon, Tequila Sunrise, and many more. Lowball glass. Also called a rocks glass, and sometimes referred to as a shot glass, it is a versatile glass used for drinks served neat, on the rocks, shots, mixed shots, and lowball cocktails such as the White Russian and Incredible Hulk. Old Fashioned Glass, also called a rocks glass. This glass is used for drinks served neat, on the rocks, lowball cocktails, and is the proper glass for the old fashioned cocktail. Mixing Glass, also called a pint glass. It is a versatile glass used for beer, some cocktails like Long Islands, combining ingredients for cocktail making, and tall mixed drinks, such as a rum and coke tall, which is a highball drink, but instead put into this taller pint glass and with more mixer added, mixer being juice or soda. Shot glass. A small glass for taking shots. Typically holds one or one and a half ounces of alcohol. It can also be used as a measuring device for cocktail making. Snifter. It is the proper glassware for brandy and cognac. It is held at the bottom of the bowl to allow your palm to warm the alcohol while holding it. Martini glass. Also called a cocktail glass. This glass is used for martinis and drinks served up, meaning chilled by shaking with ice and then strained into a martini glass without ice. Red and white wine glasses. These glasses are similar with only subtle differences. Generally speaking, red wine glasses are wider, giving the wine more room to breathe or oxidize, which makes the flavor and aroma of red wine more noticeable. This isn't as necessary for younger, cold-served wines, such as white wines, which is why they are served in a narrower glass. Champagne flute. A tall, narrow glass used for champagne and champagne cocktails, such as a mimosa and French 45. Champagne coupe. This glass has a wide and shallow bowl. It is used for champagne, cocktails, champagne cocktails, and some specialty craft beers. Hurricane glass. Tall lampshade glass used for cocktails, typically frozen ones that are fruity and contain rum, such as a pina colada, strawberry daiquiri, and blue Hawaiian. Margarita glass. It is the proper glass for the margarita cocktail, but it can also be used for other frozen drinks, such as a pina colada and strawberry daiquiri. Beer mug. As the name implies, it is used for beer, typically draft beer. Pilsner glass. A tall glass traditionally used for Pilsner beer, but can be used for other beer types as well. Collins glass. The proper glass for the Tom Collins cocktail, but can also be used for mojitos and Long Island iced teas. Goblet. A stem glass with a large vessel. Goblets serve no specific drink type. They can be used for water, wine, beer, cocktails, frozen cocktails, etc. Nick and Nora glass. Popularized by the 1930s film series The Thin Man, the Nick and Nora glass is used for martinis, wine, and drinks served neat and chilled. Cordial glass. Used to drink cordials and liqueurs from, typically after dinner. Mint julep cup. Used for the mint julep cocktail. Copper mug. Used for the Moscow Mule cocktail. Absence glass and spoon. Used to prepare and drink absence alcohol. To prepare, bartenders place a spoon across the rim of the glass, then place a sugar cube on top of the spoon, and then drip water onto the sugar cube until it is fully dissolved. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the glassware found at bars. Now here are two key points about glassware that you should know. One, bars don't typically hold all these glasses that I mentioned. They usually just have a select few. So it's up to you to decide which glass available is appropriate for the job. And two, and this is like the golden rule of glassware. Never use your glassware to scoop ice from your ice chest. Non-glass cups are okay, but you want to completely avoid using actual glass cups in your ice chest. Here's why. If you break glass in your ice chest, 
The procedure at that point is to burn all your ice, meaning melt all your ice with hot water, clean out your ice chest of all glass shards, and then refill it back up with ice. It's a long, tedious process that can feel like forever at a fast-paced bar. Not to mention your customers will become skeptical of you, and your manager is probably going to be questioning your integrity and competence behind the bar. So take my word for it, you will save yourself a lot of hassle if you follow this rule. And that concludes our video. I hope you found it informative, and I hope you learned something new. And if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Again, I'm Danny from NightlifeBartenders.com. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Let it roll.